One of the more important things in Adobe Bridge is the thumbnail display, right? That's how you interact with the files that you're working with. So it stands to reason you might want to customize the way the thumbnails are represented. First thing you're going to want to be able to probably change is the size of the thumbnails. If you've got a ton of images, you may want to see more of them in the particular content view, the current size of that. Or you may want to see a higher level of detail, so you may want the thumbnails to be larger. The easy way to do that is at the bottom of the window, there is this slider, the thumbnail slider, and that will just increase the size or decrease it depending on which direction you go, right or left. You can also click on either end of the slider, these buttons here, so the bigger button or the smaller button. I find using the keyboard is sometimes quicker, and this actually happens to have a intuitive keyboard shortcut, Command plus and minus, or Control plus and minus on Windows, similar to zooming in and out. In this case, it's going to zoom in on the thumbnail, so to speak. So Command plus to go up, Command minus to go down, and very quick, easy way to change the size of your thumbnails. The other thing that you can change is the amount of information that's displayed underneath each thumbnail. By default, only the file name is displayed but you have the option to actually list up to four rows of information. So things like file size, for instance. To change the information that's displayed under each thumbnail, that would be in your preferences. So on the Mac, that'd be under the Adobe Bridge CS5 menu. On the Windows machine, that would be under the Edit menu, and there's preferences. Either way, it's Command or Control K if you're a keyboard shortcut junkie. And in the Preferences dialog, there's a section for thumbnails. And this is where you can turn on the additional bits of information. So for instance, if I want to see the file size, I can just turn that checkbox on. And you can actually see you get a little preview behind the scenes. Even though there's a dialog open, you can see the additional information being turned on. If I want to turn on the dimensions, I can do that. The pixel dimensions and the resolution, date created, things like that. On any one of these checkboxes, there's a pop-up menu and you can see these are all the different types of information that you can turn on. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on the dimensions and the size for now and go ahead and click OK. Now, some people don't like to have that information displayed at all times, so there's a way to toggle that on and off as well. The keyboard shortcut for that is Command or Control T. Think of thumbnails, right? Command T, Control T in Windows, and that just temporarily turns off the display of that additional metadata information underneath each thumbnail. To bring it back, you simply press the keyboard shortcut again, so it's a toggle, Command T or Control T again, and it comes back. Now, if you'd still like to see that information or have it readily available, but not actually displayed underneath each thumbnail, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off again, Command T, Control T. I'm going to go back to Preferences, and you may have noticed that there was a checkbox here called Show Tooltips. Now, tooltips annoy some people, so that's why it's a preference. You can turn it on or off. Let's go ahead and turn that on for now so you can see what it is. We'll click OK. And now when you mouse over a thumbnail, if you just hesitate for a second and pause, all that information would be displayed in a tooltip manner. So this is a way you can maximize the screen real estate and see as many thumbnails as you want. And then if you need that file information, just hover over the thumbnail you care about and that information will show up in a tooltip. All right, let's turn that thumbnail information back on. Command T, Control T. I'm gonna go back to my preferences under the Bridge menu, or again, the Edit menu on Windows. Go back to Preferences. I'm going to go ahead and just turn these options back off to get us back to where we were at the default, and click OK.